Hi, my name's James. I'm uh, the main consultant, head chef of, uh, of skillflip.com. Today we're going to be making something nice and simple. It's a apple tart to tan. It's a classic French pastry dish. It's nice and simple and I hope you enjoy making this at home. Alright, so our first step today is, uh, is to make the caramel, which is the first step. So, just here, yeah, I've had some tins already made. They've already got caramel, but I'm going to show you how to do that now. So in a saucepan, decent size, add your sugar, straight in, put the flame onto high, and then add about 100 mils of water. Swirl that to combine, it helps make the caramel uh, break down and melt quicker and easier, and it also stops it from getting burnt bits. Okay, so we'll leave that there for the moment until we start getting a deeper caramel colour. Okay, so just going back to our caramel, it's on the stove. We're still about a couple of minutes away here. It's bubbling rapidly, almost all of the water's gone, but it's, it's breaking down nicely. It should be about two minutes. Okay, so this caramel isn't that far off now. We've got about another minute left in it. As you can see, the caramel is darkening in colour. We've got a light, a light yellow colour at the moment. We want something a lot darker. Okay, so the caramel's now ready. To check to see if the caramel's ready, obviously it's going to be pretty hot, but if you move your pan to the side, you can see as you look down how dark the caramel is at the bottom. If you look at the caramel straight on top, it's, it'll be far too dark and you can't tell properly. So now we've got the heat, we've got the smoke just about to come out now, and we drop the butter in. Drop the butter in and we start swirling the caramel. And you get that beautiful colour like a butterscotch. Okay, now our caramel's ready. We'll take it over to our prepared moulds over here. Be quite generous with the amount of caramel you give. Just pour it straight into the moulds, just like that. So our next step for today, once we've got the uh, once the tar caramel tins are done, is to prepare our apples. So today I'm just going to make a couple of portions. Now to start off with, trim your apple, take the bottom off it, and take the top off it. Helps it sit on your board nice and flat, and it also helps you hold it when you peel it. Next step is to actually peel the apple itself. Now I use Golden Delicious apples when I create this because Golden Delicious apples have a lower water content so when you cook the apple it doesn't break down and turn into mush. Okay, now that's done, take a vegetable core, core the centre of it out, just like that. With your extra apple, take the apple Pour a piece of the flesh out, just like that. Peel the, uh, peel the skin off, what's left. And just place it inside the apple, just like so. And then just take off the end piece, so it sits nice and flat. Okay, so it's been five minutes. Now, we've got our caramel molds just here. So the caramel is set now and is quite firm. I could put the apple straight in. Now, if we're doing it traditionally, I'd just put the apple straight into the caramel. But as a bit of a twist, you can also add a little bit of cinnamon, some vanilla and star anise to the mixture at this point and give it a bit of an extra flavor. Then we place the apple straight in. And then we add just a small knob of butter. And then that's almost ready to go in the oven. I just wrap it in our form. Wrap it quite well, quite tightly. As it cooks, the caramel will bubble up the sides of the mold. And if you don't wrap it tightly enough, you'll have, bubble, you'll have caramel going in through your oven. You don't want to have to clean that up afterwards. Okay, so we take this and we put it straight into our oven. The oven here is a fan forced oven and it's been preheated to about 210 degrees. Then you want to put it straight in and put it in for about 15 minutes. 
Okay, so it's been, been about 15 minutes. My oven time has just gone off. So now I have to drop the temperature. It was on 215 degrees, so now it has to get out to 180 for about another 15 minutes. Now to one of the one of the final things for our dish is to make the custard itself. Now custard is very basic, one of the easiest things to do in pastry, as long as you follow the rules. So we're going to make a uh, vanilla and calvados flavoured. You take a fresh vanilla bean, cut straight down the middle, and then scrape the seeds out with your knife. Just like so. And put it straight into your pot, along with your cream, your milk, and part of your weighed out sugar, maybe 20 grams, just about that much. It helps by putting the sugar into the pot right now, helps keep your pot clean and stops the milk solids building up around the bottom of it. Okay, so I have a digital probe thermometer, which I can check to see the temperature, but if you're cooking at home and you don't have one, a wooden spoon works just as well if you follow my tip on the back of the spoon. So I put it straight into my mixture. It's reached 88 degrees. So it's definitely ready now. Just pull that straight off. And we'll pour it into our prepared bowl. And we whisk it, so let it cool down a little bit, and then we place that aside for about an hour. It'll continue to cook, the heat still resides within the cream, so it'll continue to cook the eggs, but once it's cooled off and you place it in the fridge, once it's cold, it'll thicken up just like a perfect custard. Okay, so it's been about 20 minutes and our custard's cooled to room temperature. I'm now going to add our Calvados, which is a French apple brandy. You can find it in most good bottle shops. So I'm going to take about 50 mils and add it straight into the custard. Whisk it through and then place it straight into the fridge. And then this is done. Okay, so it's been about another 15 minutes and it's ready to come out of the oven. So just open the oven door, take it straight out. Just unwrap it. Be careful as you unwrap it because a fair bit of steam will come out and will burn you if you're not careful. So as you can see the apple is quite soft but it's still retaining its shape. Now I've already cut my puff pastry into discs using a set of disc cutters like these. I take a disc of puff pastry, I set it straight on top and you just tuck it in around the edges just like so. Now, this is ready to go back into the oven for another 10 minutes. So it's been about 8 minutes and the tart of time is ready to come out of the oven now. now. As you can see, the pastry on top is perfectly cooked and you've got the camel bubbling, bubbling up the edges. So we just take it over here to our plate. Be very careful when you're holding this. If you get the caramel on yourself, it will hurt. Just like so. My name's James Willing and I hope you enjoyed my simple course today on an apple tart to tart. I run courses uh, in both basic pastry and a masterclass. Come and check out the website and my courses at skillflip.com.